Hi, this is Troll from ATO, and in this video we are taking a look at the ATO Steel Guitar. This is the follow-up to our Guitar Lili, which is also in our Advanced Guitar Series. And the core premise of this entire library and our Advanced Guitar Series is that you have a parallel engine environment. In essence, we recorded both deep sampling of solo strings, so you can play solo guitar, but we also did the same for strumming. So you have a parallel or dual engine system, if you will, where you can play solo guitar with hammer-on legato and all the things that comes with that. And then we also have a very, very elaborate strum environment that allows you to virtually create any rhythm you want in any rhythmic signature and with any chord. And on top of that, we actually have additional effects. We have pedal effects you can use in the library. And then you can also go to the main page where you can control both the articulations here, the release triggers or the tails, creating all those X noises and artifacts that you'll hear in the library. So it's not just that you have release triggers, but you have all the little fret noises and all that stuff. You can also control vibrato here. And if you want to precision record any of these effects, you can always right click on them here and assign them to any MIDI CC automation that you want. But uh, why don't we just get into it? Uh, let me play a little bit here with the solo instruments first. We're gonna go through a variety of different patches and then I'll do the same thing for the strummer. And I'm so excited to show you guys. There's so many different ways to utilize this library and it's incredibly flexible. So let's just get started here. Let me play a little bit with the steel guitar soft. And as you can hear, I actually played a little outside the normal range of the instrument, which is indicated in blue here. You can see here on the green keys, you have extended notes, both in the basses and in the trebles. Let me play another thing here, but this time with our vibrato, we actually have both artificial vibrato here that you can design yourself, but we also have naturally recorded vibrato. So let me play with that patch. One of the most unique aspects about the solo engine is the fact that we recorded hammer-on legato. And uh, let me just play a little bit with that. Uh, I'll play sort of a repetitive phrase, both going up and down, so you can hear how the hammer-on legato triggers when you do overlapping notes. So this is essentially the same uh, principle as you see in legato and orchestral libraries, that you have overlapping notes that'll trigger the hammer-on legato. So check it out. It really makes the library a lot more alive. And you get those natural legato noises over the frets. And you probably heard that fret noises at the end of the little demo here. That comes from our artifacts down here. So you can control the volume of X noises or fret artifacts, but you can also control the frequency over here of how often you want them. They're really great. I love to have them up here because they just add a little bit of sort of chaos to the playing style here. Let me also play um, another patch here that has a little bit of compression to it. You can see we have these lovely pedal effects added here. So in this case, I'm playing with the soft guitar here with a little bit of compression and chorus effect on it. also play something here with uh, the muted notes. As you can see here, we have five different sort of core articulations in the library. We have sustained flat, sustained vibrato, we got muted, harmonics, and strummer. And if you want access to strummer, you can either click down here and it'll take you to the strum engine, but you can also click up here and it'll do the same and you get into the strumming engine as well. But um, in this case here, we're gonna be playing with the muted notes here. And if you go into our chaos effects here, you can see that we have a tempo sync stereo delay in here that matches to your DAW tempo. But uh, yeah, let's listen to the muted guitar here with the delays on them. And 
Let me also play um, a little bit with the harmonics here. Uh, just beautiful overtones for their Martin D28, which is what we deep sample for this library. Imagine playing that on a real guitar. We also have this other patch here. When you move the mod wheel, you get that wah effect on the sound. Another cool aspect about the library is that it's not only that we have legato and sustain and vibrato muted harmonics, you can actually also switch the legato off and that sort of opens the library up for other opportunities because the legato is essentially monophonic in essence, so if you do overlapping notes you'll get that normally sort of glissando. But if you turn the legato off, you can actually start playing chords. And if you hold more than one key down, you actually generate a chord stroke on top of it. So you can do these really cool sort of... So you can hear that so sort of a strum effect on top of it. Uh, let me touch play a little more here with that sort of hand slapping kind of legato where you do muted notes. You almost like you hit the board of the guitar or just the frets in a muted sense. It's really cool for doing more rhythmic accentuation uh, with the solo guitar here. And we'll get into the strum effects later on so you can really hear what happens once we open up the strum engine. But again, this is just with the solo guitar here just to show how nimble it is even when you switch the legato off. Another thing that I love to do is to tune the instrument. So uh, let's listen to the steel string here, the solo guitar, and uh, let me just dial it down to zero here. Um, I'll try to play the same thing more or less uh, three times, but I'm gonna change the tuning from zero to six to 12 in sort of three different parts. So you can hear how well it actually takes tuning. It sounds more like a sort of crossbreed between a steel guitar and a mandolin once you start pushing into the new octave range. It really uh, pushes the instrument to become something entirely different. It's a really great trick if you wanna get a little more leverage out of the instrument and pursue some of those higher range charango or mandolin or even banjo-like effects if you use the filter a little bit. There's a lot you can do with it, but let me just start here at zero and then we'll go to six and then we'll go to 12 semitones in terms of its tuning. Isn't it awesome? It's like it becomes an entirely different instrument. And speaking of an entirely different instrument, it's not just that we deep sampled the solo here with all the articulations. We really, really went crazy on the strum part. Obviously strumming is difficult to do on a keyboard because you're playing in a more piano-like fashion. You want those sort of styles of playing and strumming in itself is just delicate because you play all around the guitar. Sometimes you'll mute the notes, sometimes you'll have an open, sometimes you start with the bass notes, sometimes you start with the treble notes, sometimes it's up, sometimes it's down. You do silence and release triggers and all that stuff, you'll dampen the notes at times as well. So we actually recorded all those things individually and assembled them into what we call our strum engine here. And you can select what note you wanna play here, and then you can also select what chord you want here. And you can see we essentially have any chord that you could possibly wish for when it comes to that realm. You can actually play your own down here in the six strings as well. So virtually you can do anything you want. Down here you control the amount of steps. You can actually do any time signature you want. You can control the rhythm rate here, so you can do fast or slow. You can control sort of the sloppiness or the drunkenness of your player if you want to do that by controlling the strum speed. So if you go up, it's gonna have more like a 
But if you go tighter, it's going to have more of a pff. And up here, you can control the swing rate. So right now, we have it almost in non-swing. But if you go all the way up here, you can have super swing on it. So as you can see in the beginning, we were sort of triggering the chord changes on the beat. But a little later on, you can see I'm changing it anytime you want. And it's so easy just to change the key if you want to do that. You just click here and here on the chord and it's all set and correlating to your key switches down here. Let me give you um, another example here. But this time around, um, I'm going to play at a different time signature. You can see I've set the step amount down here to 14 steps. So seven eighth notes, if you will. Just to show you, you can absolutely do any kind of time signature you want. And uh, we're going to stay here in the muted realm. And then I'm going to play uh, a little more with the open notes here as well. And use some of the tricks up here in terms of releasing and dampening notes as well. Um, you can really, really do anything you want. You can also do more open chords if you really want to get into the sort of more songwriting sort of style. And as you can see here, I'm actually mixing both singular strings, muted articulations, open strokes in the guitar here, and also dead notes up here in terms of dampening the sounds. And uh, I'll be playing a little bit um, sort of straight fashion songwriting, and then I'll do a little more advanced chord variation in terms of changing the chords at different times in the rhythm. And then all of a sudden, I'll just start in real time to manipulate the sequence here. I don't know really what's going to happen, but I just want to demonstrate how quickly it actually is to change the rhythm using the step-based velocity sequencer in here. It's so easy. It's just uh, clicking with the mouse here and you're into new territory. But uh, let me play this um, in a straight fashion and then you're going to see me start manipulating. it. So you can hear the strum engine in its more full form, both using singular strings, muted strokes here, open strokes and dead notes. But let me just um, wrap the video up here by playing a little more with the open notes up here. So not so much muted this time and use a little more of our dampening release trigger silence and dead notes as well. You can do beautiful things just by using this part of the module as well. But in essence, you can really do anything you want, whether it's the finger notes here, the muted, the open here or all the dead notes in combination. And as you can see, there's really a huge difference between just moving the swing button a tiny little bit in terms of the feel of the groove and the strum speed here as well, which I really prefer to have down so it's more tight in essence. But let's listen to this more open part of the guitar. It's really just a joy to play. And um, I hope this demo have given you a little bit of insight into our new advanced steel string guitar. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.